The best way to describe the design of Bunker is a minimalist structure designed by a builder. For me, I like to keep everything simple and easy and cost effective to build, but have a really nice, elegant structure and exposing all the raw materials so you can see all the hard work the builders went into to create the product. I'm Neil, the owner of the design and construct company Future Flip. And my name's Crystal and I am Neil's wife, aka the big boss. Bunker House is located in Gerringong, which is a beautiful surf town located 90 minutes south of Sydney. And this very block uh, that Bunker is constructed on is a block that we had our eyes on for a good eight years. It basically had a DA approval on it for like a small cabin house. And it just popped up on the market and we decided we could redesign this and do the dream house. So we grabbed it, we're so lucky, and here we are now. Anyone that is familiar with Future Flip knows that Neil is obsessed with concrete. Uh, concrete is pretty much his signature style. So the ceilings, the whole structure essentially is built out of concrete. And what we've done just to soften the look, we've got a lot of timber throughout the home just to bring some warmth to the space. And the most important material is obviously the glazing. So we've got the double glazed low E glass to stop that sun coming through into the house, but allowing us to see out to that incredible view. I'm obsessed with bringing natural light into all of our designs and I knew that having an underground house it was going to be a big challenge to get that natural light in. So I decided to put this huge glass floor in that sends light down through all the levels. So the top light just transcends straight to that massive hallway leading into all the bedrooms below. By constructing a house that is built to stand for 100 years we feel is a great way for embodied energy not to get wasted in reconstructing three or four houses in the time period. We also used a lot of shading over the windows and using the double glaze, low E glass helps to control that heat that comes into this top floor. The rest of the house is pretty much underground, so we get to use the earth's temperature to control those rooms and we very rarely need any heating and cooling in those levels. And we've got the solar that pretty much covers our entire roof so this house can run off grid. Being such a bold and hard concrete structure, we really needed something to soften it and that's where landscaping was such an integral part of the overall look and feel of Bunker. We wanted it to look like it emerged from the landscape. So softening with all of our like climbing rosemary and cousin ants and everything that come off the building made such a great impact on the design and softened it from the side view and the front view. And then we started to introduce the pandanus trees, which we love, brought this really tropical resort style vibe and also offered a great privacy blocker from the street. When choosing furniture for a space like this, I think it's all about choosing pieces that complement the design and the overall feel rather than stealing away from it or being the hero. It was important to choose pieces that were durable and would stand the test of time and weren't going to date, so pieces that are a bit more timeless. The whole purpose of Bunker for us was to be able to host a really large group of people all under the one roof. So we have gone with three separate living areas and an open flow throughout the home. Having those three separate living areas, you can you know, take time to chill out in your own space and then you can be a part of the action when you want to be, which is really cool. The outdoor space for me was the most important. That's where I like to spend most of my time on the barbecue and having people you know, sitting around in the dining tables, you can have a proper dinner outside. But something that's gonna actually last out in that extreme environment is so important and be able to handle that extreme wind. We've got these retractable louvers so you can still get that awesome open minimalist look, but we can also shut it all off so it can entertain in the rain, which is cool. So after 18 years of slogging it out as a builder, designer, I wanted to create a house that was going to be a legacy, something to show for all the hard work. Uh, so this house was it. And, you know, I can't wait to sort of stand back when I'm old and grey and look at this house as it gets better with time. Like the timber gets silver, everything, like the landscaping, my frangipani tree starts to grow. <laughs> I just have this vision of just sort of looking back at that and you know, keeping this house forever is pretty special to us.